Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we got a brand new movie review for you. Today we're going to be talking about John Wick Chapter 4. I put up my initial reaction out of the theater last night, but here is the full review of the film. But before we get started, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so we can keep growing out towards 250 subscribers. Now let's dive in to the latest chapter in the John Wick franchise. This one, of course, as always, stars Keanu Reeves. He is just, he's fantastic in this role. I know he's Bill and Ted, I know he's Neo from The Matrix, I think Keanu's best role is John Wick. Like, he was born to play John Wick, and he's fantastic at doing it. Joining him for the adventure in this one is Donnie Yen, you might know him from the Ip Man movies, the uh, Rogue One A Star Wars story. He is incredible in this film. He plays a character named Kane, he's new to the John Wick uh, movies, he's fantastic, he has a deep, deep history with John Wick and a couple of the other characters throughout the film, and he is incredible. I think he's the best part of this film, he steals the show, and I just wish Donnie Yen was in every movie going forward, not just in the John Wick universe, just in general. Just cast Donnie Yen in every movie going forward. Playing the antagonist, at least one of the antagonists in this movie, is Bill Skarsgård, and it was cool to see him play a bad guy, but not the usual bad guy we're used to seeing him play, and uh, what is he called, like the matriarch or something like that, the the, the Marquis, the Marquis is what he's called, and he's just, he's great in this role. It's cool to see him kind of branching out, like, with the Barbarian last year in this one, kind of playing different roles than we're used to seeing him in. Of course, Ian McShane returns for this one, and just, I love Ian McShane, man. Like, every time he pops up in something, I get so happy to see him, and he crushes in this one. This one, he might have the most screen time he's ever had in these movies. He's great in his role. He's actually got, like, an important pivotal role in this one, and, of course, Lance Reddick is along for the ride as well who just sadly left us he passed away he's known for these movies destiny among several other fantastic projects he shows up in just rest in peace lance reddick you will be missed and i loved him he has a smaller role in this film but just chews up this scenery when he's around uh clancy brown comes into the john wick fun show for this one and i another actor i just love he's got one of the most iconic voices in all of Hollywood. I just, I think he's fantastic. And just the rest of the cast as well is just as great as the names I just mentioned. Of course, going in to see a John Wick film, you're wondering how does the action look? How is the Gung Fu? It's fantastic. It's better than it's ever been before. The fights with John Wick and Donnie Yen's character Kane are incredible. And just the action scene, like we get to see more action in more different locations like we get to see a couple locations we've seen before but then we go to like the continental Os osaka japan and it just some of the fight scenes you get there are just incredible you get different fight styles you get different fight weapons and just incredible stuff all around this film built out the world of john wick but not like in a bad way like an iron man 2 was building out the marvel universe but it kind of took over the story this does not do that it happens in a very organic way with how it's happened in all of the john wick movies how they keep unraveling layers of this john wick onion this universe that we're in and of course that's because we're going to get that continental tv show we're getting a ballerina spin-off with uh, the people from john wick 3 with anna de armis so this universe is not going away anytime soon and i'm very happy about that because it just keeps getting better i honestly think i think the second one is uh, inferior to the first one but other than that I think it ratches it up every time I think chapter three is better than chapter one and two and I think chapter four is the best one yet I love this movie I think it's the best film of the year uh, so far yes that's coming from a massive diehard scream fan this film is better this is the best film of the year if you're going in and you're one of those people that need every thing to be exactly realistic that this could happen in real life you're not going to like this one. Like, if you thought Chapter 3 was too over the top, you're certainly not going to enjoy Chapter 4 because they ratchet everything up to 11 and it works perfectly. The directing is great. The cinematography is amazing. There's a scene that's like five minutes long in this movie where uh, John Wick and another character are fighting their way through this building and the camera goes from, like, you know, the typical camera style we see and then it goes up above them as they're fighting their way through this room and it almost looks like an over the uh, over the top video game kind of thing and it looked incredible it was awesome it was great to see the weapons just keep getting like you know better and better like we get dragon's breath rounds 
in this one it just looked incredible everything about this film fires on all cylinders the action's great the emotions are great there are some deaths that hit you hard in this film like of course it's john wick there's going to be a lot of death but this one's got some very emotional hard-hitting deaths uh oh i forgot lawrence fishburne returns along for the ride as well in a uh, in a smaller role for this one but he is back alongside his good buddy there keanu reeves this film is incredible you definitely need to be going out to the theaters this weekend to see it. it's the best film of the year this is the first great blockbustery type action film of the year for sure better than shazam better than ant-man for sure uh i love this film and i'm definitely going to be going back to see it again john wick chapter 4 gets a 9.5 out of 10 the only kind of negative thing i can say about it it is a very long movie but with that said, I don't know what you take out to make it any shorter, but 9.5 out of 10 for John Wick Chapter 4, best film of the year, in my opinion. Let me know what you thought of John Wick Chapter 4 down in the comments below. Are you excited for the future of this franchise? What did you think of the last three films? Let's chat about the whole thing down in the comments. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel as well so we can keep growing out towards 250 subscribers. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys right here next time.